Water fasting is a type of fasting or food restriction that restricts everything except water. Uh, it's become really popular in the last few years uh, as a quick way to lose weight. But are there actually health benefits and are there any risks? That's what I'm looking at in this video. Water fasting uh, is a type of fast that, as the name suggests, you can't consume anything other than water. Most water fasts last between 24 to 72 hours. You should not follow a water fast for longer than this without medical supervision. Now, people usually try water fasting for religious or spiritual reasons, um, to lose weight, for detoxing, for its health benefits, or preparing for a medical procedure. Uh, the main reason why people try water fasting is for its reported health benefits, though, um, which I'll get to in a moment. How do you water fast? There are no scientific guidelines on how to start water fasting. But basically for 24 to 72 hours, uh, you stop eating or drinking anything uh, other than water. And most people will have two to three liters of water in a day. Some may feel weak or dizzy during a water fast and may want to avoid operating heavy machinery and driving to avoid um, causing an accident. Now after the water fast, you're advised to resist the urge to eat a big meal. This is because eating a large meal after a fast uh, may cause uncomfortable symptoms. Instead, break your fast with like a smoothie or a smaller meal, and then you can um, gradually increase your intake uh, through the remainder of the day. The post-fast phase is especially important after a longer fast. Now, this is because you may actually be at risk of what's called refeeding syndrome, a potentially fatal condition where the body undergoes rapid changes in fluid and electrolytes. And this phase normally lasts a day, but people who fast for an extended period of time, like up to three days, uh, may need a few days to uh, feel comfortable and eat normally again. Potential benefits of water fasting. Water fasting has been linked to a range of health benefits in uh, animal and human studies, mostly animal studies. The first is that it may promote what's called autophagy, uh, which is where uh, old cells are broken down and recycled in your body. Several studies have found that autophagy may help protect against diseases like cancer, um, Alzheimer's disease, and heart disease. Now that said, there are very few human studies on water fasting, uh, autophagy, and disease prevention in general. It's pretty much just animal studies um, which don't always apply to humans, so keep that in mind. Research also shows that a longer uh, medically supervised fast may help those uh, with high blood pressure to lower their blood pressure. In this study, 174 people with high blood pressure water fasted for an average of 10 to 11 days. Now at the end of the fast, 90% of people achieved a blood pressure lower than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury or points. And now that's the limits used to diagnose high blood pressure if you're above that. Now additionally, the average fall in systolic blood pressure, the, the upper value, the first value, was uh, a substantial uh, 37 points. Unfortunately, there are no human studies that investigate the link between short-term water fasts, like 24 to 72 hours, and blood pressure. Uh, as I said, this, uh, these studies uh, you know, are medically supervised and they typically go about 10 days. Water fasting may also influence uh, insulin and leptin sensitivity, which are important hormones uh, involved in uh, your body's metabolism. Basically, insulin helps your body store nutrients from the bloodstream uh, and leptin uh, makes you feel full. For example, uh, being more insulin sensitive means your body is more efficient at reducing blood sugar, taking sugar out of the blood. Uh, meanwhile, being more leptin sensitive could help your body process hunger signals more efficiently and in turn um, may lower your risk of obesity because you won't have such a strong appetite. Dangers and risks of water fasting. Obviously, although water fasting uh, may have some benefits, uh, it has quite a few risks as well. Although it can help you lose weight rapidly, most of the weight you lose will uh, come from water carbs and, and muscle mass rather than fat. Now, of course, this is the wrong type of weight loss. If you want the benefits of fasting, but also want to lose weight, uh, you should probably try intermittent fasting uh, instead. Orthostatic hypotension is also common among people who water fast. It's defined as a drop in blood pressure that happens when you suddenly stand up and can leave you um, dizzy, lightheaded, and at risk of fainting. So if you suffer from orthostatic hypertension while fasting, uh, you may need to avoid driving or operating heavy machinery. Uh, the dizziness and risk of fainting can lead to an accident, of course. Lastly, there are a few health conditions that can be aggravated by water fasting. Uh, they include uh, gout, uh, diabetes, uh, chronic kidney disease, uh, acid reflux, and of course, eating disorders. Personally, I feel if you want to get the benefits of fasting, you're better off trying uh, a safer method, such as uh, intermittent fasting, which at least allows you to eat some food during the day and is actually an eating pattern that you could uh, 
uh, potentially maintain long term. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.